Welcome back to Mikey Stadium with Army leading Miami of Ohio 7-3. I am joined on the sidelines by Captain Terry Baggett, class of 2015, former, former Army running back who still holds the prestigious record of a single game rushing yards, 304 yards rushing back in 2013. Captain Baggett, how is it to be back here at Mikey Stadium representing your division, the 7th Infantry Division? Uh, it's, it's a great honor. I mean, it's, it's always fun to be back to see the team play. And what better way to do that than being here representing the 7th Infantry Division. Uh, it's awesome. And you have your jersey on from when you played here back in 2013. You set that record. What do you remember about rushing for 304 yards that day? Uh, you know, I just remember there were a lot of holes, a lot of <laughs> seams, and uh, it was a lot of fun being in the end zone with my teammates. You are based right now just outside of Tacoma, Washington. Uh, you're a captain, obviously, with the 7th Infantry Division. Tell me a little bit more about your role as you continue to serve in the U.S. Army. Uh, so first, I was a company commander in 7th ID, and that was just a great honor, being able to really inspire and lead 150 of America's greatest soldiers. Uh, and now I serve as the aide to the division commander, really just making sure that I can enable him to lead the division uh, and, and accomplish his mission. Oh, that is so amazing. It's interesting, Captain Baggett, but this is the 10th year anniversary of the Showtime documentary, A Game of Honor, and you were in that, it was produced by CBS Sports, and it showed a moment when you first showed up at West Point. You were hazed a little bit, the pressure was on. What do you remember about that? I, I actually rewatched the video <laughs> yesterday and I cringed. Um, but it, it, what it reminds me is that, you know, being put under pressure was important. And uh, I didn't know what to do. Hold on one second. Oh. We're going to send it back to Jason. Well, Tina, that's Christian Anderson. I guess the ankle's fine. He looks like Terry Baggett. 75 yards. He just bested his career long from earlier today. Every time we interview <laughs> one of the guys in the Army, they score a touchdown. This is unbelievable. Tina is three for three. We get a, one of our servicemen on the air. The Army Black Knights are scoring. It's just quarterback, zone, Anderson cuts it all the way back. That's the second time Miami has had nobody for the quarterback. Terrific block by the right guard, Dean Powell. And Army is off and running. Anderson's having a day. He might he break might Terry break Baggett's it. record. You know, perfect. You know what we're going to do the rest of the day? We're going to keep a camera directly on Captain Baggett. Oh, my goodness. I see your 304 yards. Here's my 172 and a quarter and a half. All right, watch the block by Dean out. Powell right there. Right there. Terrific job on the linebacker. And Buchanan, the fullback, got a good block as well. And I can tell you right now, Army's going to come back to that play because Miami has not had an answer for Anderson a couple of times. They're doing a good job of getting that play side linebacker blocked. And Anderson, that's right near where Tina is interviewing Captain Baggett. Yeah, and who's got a huge smile on his face. Let's go back downstairs to Tina. So, Captain Baggett, I have to ask you, what did you think of Anderson's legs there? Oh, I mean, they look great. <laughs> that was a beautiful run. I hope he does break the record. I mean, hey. What better way to do it and win? And can you imagine a quarterback? That would be, and it would be so amazing with a Terry Baggett here on the sideline. So you were saying if we could just finish your story about that moment in Game of Honor when we saw the pressure put on you when you showed up at West Point. Yes, and uh, what I would say is being put under pressure, I learned a lot from being in those situations and circumstances, and they definitely prepared me for what I would see in the Army. And, and so it was a valuable experience, though it wasn't fun to be a part of. Well, Captain Baggett, thank you for your time today. Thank you for your service, and we appreciate seeing you here on the sidelines at Mikey again. Thank you for your support, and it's awesome to be here. Jason Ross, back to you. Tina's the opposite.